Hey guys, Mick Crawford here again. Today we're going to do a little clip just on black rubs and how we rig them, why we rig them. There's a few little tricks that you should be able to get out of this little video today. So that sort of thing we're going to be doing today, just like that. Now to start off, you'll notice I paint my jig heads. I just think if we can do anything to improve your fishing, like painting your jig heads, making it natural. Obviously I have a natural one there in bloodworm and orange. Orange and black go really good together for yellows, particularly in eelden and all the southern empowerments, Hume, um, the ones that I fish, even, you know, Wyangala. Uh, they're all good, all good. All these methods work in every one of them. So today we'll go through how we make them quickly. This is a quarter ounce homemade Ned Locked style jig head. So when it sits on the ground, which is really good from the banks at Eildon, it'll sit like that. So today, just gonna show you what we do, how we do it. Make sure you shake your powder coat up. Give it a really good shake. Because what that does, it aerates it. So you want it to be nice, light and fluffy and the spark will sit at the top that way. So today, just gonna show you what we do. Just grab it with my pliers like that. I like to use nice long handles so you don't burn yourself. Now we just heat, it's gonna make a little bit of noise. All we do is heat it up, not too hot. So depending on the thickness of your jig head, how long you actually warm it up for. And just swirl it in there like that. And shake it off like that. Then we just hang it up here. And there you go, painted jig heads. Like I said, my two favorite colors are bloodworm and orange. Most important thing using this powder coat, give it a good shake up. So it's really aerated, get, get the jig head hot and just dip it in, swirl it, tap it off, job's done. Rightio, I'll just show you quickly how we rig them now. Um, these are the grubs I like to use. They're yabby scented grubs. But you can use any grub. Like. Now, some people are going to say, oh, he's rigging it upside down. But I purposely rig my plastic upside down. When I say upside down, I'll show you it right now. There you go. So the tail's pointing down. Traditionally, a lot of people rig them the other way, but I find I get a, a good hookup rate, and that's just the way I've been doing it. It doesn't seem to affect anything. And I, I just think, believe it's a little bit better. So that's first off, we put a grub on it. The next thing I like to do is put a couple of pieces of the spinnerbait vinyl on. This is a little bit fiddly, but all I do is double over the two pieces of vinyl Put it through the hook, or around the barb of the hook, like that, like so. And you just pass the other pieces, virtually just making a, a knot like that. So, And the reason I like to put these on, when old Mr Yellow Belly swims up to it, without it, hardly too much movement, even just when he swims near it, they're going to move. You can, you know, tap the rod, do all those fancy retrieves, but any of that, that, that little enticing just puts that bit of extra bite value into it. The next thing I like to do is introduce a stinger hook. Now I pre-make stingers of all different lengths, so depending on what length, how far back you want it to, want it to run. I like to, there's a short one there. I like to use a fly hook. That's a size 10 fly hook. Uh, I find the fly hook hook up right in the corner of the fish's mouth never comes off. All you've got to do to make these stingers is double a piece of light braid. That's probably about 15 pound braid. Down through the eyed hook so it's coming out there and I just snell it on there. You can have different lengths. And I use this float stopper to attach it. And it's quite simple. As long as you can see, put it over the, put it over the hook like that and slide the stopper down. That's how easy it is. And I have these pre-rigged like that. Then all I do, take my Loctite super glue. This is a gel one. And one little drop just on the, on the jig head there. And that fixes it up. This Loctite just has control. You have really good control of it. So you just squeeze the sides and one drop comes out of the time. Really a lot better than buying cheap super glue. So, I keep it in the fridge, that's another good tip. And the other thing I do 
is once it's glued and dried, I place it in a plastic bag. And then everything, on, everything in my boat, whenever you pick up a plastic bag, that pretty much means it's ready to fish. So I pre-rig half a dozen of these, lay them nice and flat, make sure that the plastics don't touch any other type of plastic in the boat, so you're not going to have any mischief. But if you squeeze it sort of out like it's, it's almost vacuum packed, and when it's done, it sits like that in a plastic bag, ready to go. There you go, six of them, and you're good for the whole day. Cheers guys, hope you learned something. It's Bill Classen here from The Fishing Show, and if you like this instructional video and want to learn more, it's simple. Go to fishingshowtv.com.au and see a whole host of additional videos.